Max Holden's superb century went to waste in Chelmsford after Middlesex's opening vitality blast match of the season was ended prematurely by the weather. Batting first after winning the toss, the visitors looked to Stevie Eskenazi to get his side off and running, which he did with some glorious cover drives, which saw himself take 18 runs off Aaron Beard. The opening over completed with this audacious shot which cleared the rope. Matthew Quinn replaced Beard and soon had Eskenazi on his way. Simon Harmer with the catch, the batsman rushing to 24 of just 11 deliveries. Martin Anderson came and went quickly, defeated by Cameron Delport's throw. Middlesex settling for a score of 58 for two from the six overs of power play. Holden, playing in just his eighth T20 match, steadied the ship sedately to start with, but switched gears in the tenth over as he twice tucked into the spin of Harmer, the man who led the Eagles to this trophy last summer. Holden's half-century, his second in this format, came from 35 deliveries. His partnership with Nick Gubbins had realised 71 runs in eight and a half overs when Gubbins picked out Dan Lawrence off Paul Walter to fall for 23. With five overs remaining, the total had reached 127 with Holden on 61. He then took over, first dispatching Harmer for another maximum to get to 74. Dan Lincoln fell at the other end for 11. While well, John Simpson also holed out off Beard for a couple. Middlesex heading into the last two overs with little momentum and Holden still 15 runs shy of his 100. But he then added eight more to his tally before the last over began and to the penultimate delivery of the innings, this a moment the super talented 22-year-old will never forget. The timing of his entire knock was exemplary. His ton coming off 59 balls his side ending on an imposing 184 for five. But then the rain arrived, changing the Eagles' target to 156 from 16 overs. Delport struck two early boundaries, but after nine deliveries, they were off the field again. And that, I'm afraid, was that. Not enough overs bowl to constitute a result. Both sides instead sharing the points. Middlesex, however, will be pleased with their start as they now return to Lords to take on Kent on Saturday afternoon.